Shayori Kadase works at Sempit Company and is part of Team A in the Product Development Division's Development Group 2 Planning. She works closely with Takuma Shinazaki, a young man in his 20s who has a crush on her because she's friendly and cute. One day, Takuma sees Shiori calling a cat and making cat sounds on his way to work. He finds her incredibly charming and adorable. At work, Shiori impresses her manager, Akina Chihiro, by completing her tasks ahead of schedule. Takuma is also impressed by her discipline and compliments her. Takuma daydreams about giving Shiori a back massage to help with her backache, but she interrupts him and reveals that she's thought about getting a massage too because of her stiff shoulder. Shiori surprises Takuma by offering to give him a massage. Later at work, when Takuma is nervous about an upcoming presentation, Shiori encourages him and tells him not to worry, showing that she likes him too. Takuma talks to his co-worker Hayakawa Chinatsu and Shiori notices that they seem to get along. Takuma explains that they were childhood friends and Shiori expresses her desire to be friends with Hayakawa too. She asks Takuma to introduce them, and he does. Shiori consistently praises Takuma when he does well at work leaving him unsure whether she does it out of obligation or because she genuinely likes him. Takuma gets busy with work and stays late at the office. Shiori notices his hard work and invites him to dinner. They share a special meal together and continue to bond. The next day, Takuma teases Shiori about calling the cat again, leading to a cute argument. Their manager, Akina, notices them getting along well and is happy for them. One day, Akina unexpectedly runs into Shinozaki and Shiori in an awkward situation when Shiori drops her pen. This makes Akina think they could make a good couple, so he decides to play matchmaker and ask them to find a new restaurant for some business meals. They both agree because who would say no to a free dinner? After work, Akina joins them and meets Hayakawa, who is a childhood friend of Shinazaki. Akina assumes she's following Shinazaki because she likes him, but Hayakawa strongly denies it. Eventually, they all end up walking together. Surprisingly, Akina has reserved a table for the two of them at the restaurant meant for couples. Hayakawa wonders why he's putting in so much effort for them, and Akina says he enjoys seeing couples come together. During a playful moment, Shiori leans against Shinozaki to see better, making him a bit nervous. When it gets late, Shinozaki jokingly says he's disappointed because he wanted to spend more time with Shiori. Shiori blushes at this comment, leaving Shinozaki confused. Anyway, he offers to walk her to the train station. The next day, Hayakawa notices Shinozaki carrying an umbrella, and it turns out he brought it because he was told it's his lucky charm. When it starts raining, Shiori doesn't have an umbrella, so Shinozaki offers to share his. On their way home, Shinozaki tries to start a conversation because he finds silence awkward. However, Shiori tells him it's okay not to force it, as she finds silence comforting. She mentions wanting to stop at bookstore, so they agree to meet up later. Shinozaki offers her the umbrella, but she has one in her bag making him feel embarrassed. The following day, Shinozaki calls in sick, and Shiori visits him after work, offering to cook for him. Shinozaki welcomes her into his home, and they share a meal. To thank Shiori for her kindness when he was sick, Shinozaki asks Hayakawa for gift advice. Hayakawa suggests getting her an apron, something cute that would remind her of him. Although Shinozaki worries it might be too intimate, he buys it. When Shinozaki presents the gift to Shiori, she is delighted and asks if it means she can visit his home again. Their boss, Akina, playfully suggests they take a day off to spend more time together, and they both jokingly tell him to slow down. Back at work, Akina is still trying to be a matchmaker. He talks to Shimazaki, sharing stories about how Shiori was excited to have him join her team. Shiori overhears this conversation and feels embarrassed and shy. Now let's go back in time and see how Shinazaki and Shiori viewed each other when they first started working together. From Shinazaki's perspective, he thinks Shiori is always watching him to catch his mistakes. He feels a bit nervous because of it. But from Shiori's viewpoint, she's actually thrilled to have someone working under her, and she wants to be as helpful as possible to him. She's excited about the opportunity. On their way back to the office, they come across a crane game with stuffed animals. The two different types of teddy bears in the game remind them of each other. Shinozaki tries to win the teddy bears for Shiori because he sees how excited she is about them. Unfortunately, he doesn't win on his first two attempts, However, on his third try, he manages to win two each kind. He gives both teddy bears to Shiori, who is absolutely delighted. Back at work, their boss asks them to brainstorm ideas for a dating website. They've both never been in a relationship before, so they don't have much to contribute. When they're at home, the two teddy bears remind Shiori of herself and Shinozaki. When the more feminine teddy falls on the one that looks more masculine, she imagines herself getting closer to Shinozaki. She blushes but quickly composes herself, trying not to let her thoughts run wild. 
Hayaka Wood decides to go to an otaku event happening in the city, but she's annoyed because it's quite far away and she's grumbling to herself about the inconvenience. Suddenly, the manager approaches Hayakawa, and she's startled because he clearly recognizes her. She feels embarrassed and tries to explain that she's not who he thinks she is. The situation is strange, and Akina ends up complimenting her for her interests. Later that evening, she tries to write a manga manuscript but struggles and stays up late. The next day, Shinozaki notices that Hayakawa looks tired at work. Unexpectedly, Akina invites her to dinner that night and mentions that he'd like to join her at an otaku gathering. Hayakawa is surprised because she expected him to judge her. The following day, Akina and Katase bring up the friendship between Shinazaki and Hayakawa, and they also discuss various workplace relationships. When Shinazaki and Hayakawa meet for a meal, she tells him that the manager knows she's an otaku. She's relieved that he doesn't know about her obsession with BL manga series. Interestingly, Akina and Katase, who were sitting at the table behind them, overheard and joined their conversation. Shunozaki is surprised when Katase greets him on Halloween dressed as a pumpkin. Unexpectedly, Akina, sitting at his desk with cat ears, is also in a festive mood. Hayakawa feels embarrassed when Akina makes her put on cat ears, too, when she goes to talk to him. Despite wanting to take them off, she lacks the courage to talk to the manager about it. Later that day, Shunozaki and Katase enjoy some sweets together. Katase playfully asks Shunozaki to feed her a piece, and he feels embarrassed. He gathers his courage and tries to feed her, but she eats it before he can. Katase then starts showering Hayakawa with kisses as soon as she enters the room, and Akina takes pictures. It turns out she's a bit out of control because she had a suite with alcohol. She leaves Hayakawa and goes to talk to the manager, expressing her appreciation for his dedication to work. Katase eventually turns her attention to Shinazaki. She thinks back to his early days at the firm and is pleased with his progress. She gives him an emotional hug. Akina sees this as a good opportunity to ask Katase about her feelings for Shinazaki. Interestingly, Katase says she's not sure if she likes him yet. Shiori and Akina are talking about how they want to contribute to the office Christmas party. Shinozaki overhears their conversation and thinks that Shiori really loves Christmas. He tells himself that she will definitely be here for Christmas. Later, Shiori and Shinozaki go to a client meeting together. After the meeting, they spot a store selling loungewear. Shiori imagines Shinozaki looking cute in bear-themed loungewear, while Shinozaki thinks about how adorable she would look in bunny-themed loungewear. While they're walking, they encounter two bloggers who assume they're a couple. Shiori explains that they're not, but the female blogger asks her to pretend for her video since they don't have many viewers. Shiori agrees and she and Shinozaki playfully act like a couple, answering the blogger's questions. The video becomes popular and Shiori feels really embarrassed. Their co-workers ask if they're dating the next day and they clarify that they're not, blushing with embarrassment. A few days later, it's Christmas. Shiori, Shinazaki, Akina, and Hayakawa are having a good time at the office party. After the party, Shinozaki notices Shiori walking alone to the station. So he asks if he can accompany her, and she enthusiastically agrees. They have a great time walking together and bond. Shiori asks Shinozaki if he has plans for Christmas, and when he says he doesn't, she suggests they go somewhere before heading home. They exchange gifts and both seem really happy. She gives him the bear loungewear and he gives her the bunny loungewear. Out of nowhere, Akina and Hayakawa show up and start teasing them. They push Shiori and Shinazaki to exchange phone numbers, and they agree. Shiori and Shinazaki also encourage Akina and Hayakawa to do the same, so they share their phone numbers too. In a dream, Takuma sees Shiori dress as Santa Claus, asking him to help distribute gifts. As things get more intense in the dream, he wakes up. At the same time, Akina texts him and tells him not to worry about the dream. The next day, Takuma and Shiori learn that Hayakawa needs help finishing a manuscript she's been working on for a while. Surprisingly, Akina offers to help with the artistic side of it, and it turns out he's quite skilled. Hayakawa and Akina work together to complete the manuscript and even try to sell it at an event where Hayakawa's friend thinks Akina is her partner. Finally, Shiori gathers the courage to thank Takuma for all this hard work on the first day of the new year. They make a commitment to continue working together in the coming year. Meanwhile, Takuma's sister, Yutaka, has been watching him closely and notices significant changes in him. She feels she needs to find out the truth. Out of the blue, Akina tells Takuma to meet Shiori at the Hatsumode Shrine. The next day, Takuma goes to the shrine and unexpectedly runs into Shiori and his other co-workers. He didn't realize his sister had been following him. Takuma can't take his eyes off Shiori, especially when he sees her dressed in traditional clothing. From a distance, Yutaka spots Shiori and recognizes her as her brother's girlfriend. Instead of small talk, Yutaka surprises Shiori with a hug and compliments her appearance, 
Call him the cutest. The supervisor then reveals that she's Takuma's sister and Shiori is thrilled to finally meet her. Yutaka keeps praising Takuma's senior, Shiori, making Takuma nervous as he tries to calm his sister down. The manager chimes in saying that they are truly compatible. When he learns that Yutaka wants a younger sister, he jokingly suggests that Takuma should marry Shiori so Yutaka can have one. Takuma tries to explain the situation and convince Shiori that his sister can be just like him. But suddenly, Akina and Yutaka ask about their choice for the wedding speaker, surprising them both. Takuma and Shiori meet up at the shrine and decide to explore the event together. They also team up to help a girl who seems in need. Meanwhile, Yutaka and Akan talk about their relationship and imagine what it would be like if Takuma and Shiori were parents in the future. After the break, Takuma and Shiori return to work. Shiori initially thinks she's much taller than her new friend, but it turns out she's just wearing tall boots. Later, Ishiyama from PR approaches Takuma with extra work requests that go beyond what his senior has approved. Shiori arrives in time to defend her junior and prevents Ishiyama from persuading him. However, Ishiyama tries the same trick on Hayakawa that evening, leading her to work unpaid over time. As Akane is their manager, he asks Hayakawa about her late hours at work and advises her to stop doing favors for others. He promises to talk to Ishiyama about it. During dinner, Akane and Hayakawa catch up on their romantic lives, and they unexpectedly meet Yutaka, leading to a fun time together. On a Sunday morning, Takuma wakes up feeling unusually heavy and wonders if he's experiencing sleep paralysis. It turns out that Yutaka, who is eager to get more pictures of Shiori, is sitting on top of him to wake him up. Takuma's sister is obsessed with Shiori from the moment she met her and hopes that he will eventually date her. However, Takuma is more reserved about his feelings and hasn't taken any action in response to her advances. Surprisingly, he doesn't even have any pictures of Shiori on his phone. Takuma recalls a conversation he had with Shiori and thinks it would be nice to have pictures of them together, but he's unsure if he should ask for them. Yutaka grabs Takuma's phone while he's distracted and texts Shiori about how much he misses her and wishes he had a picture of her on his phone. Takuma panics when he finds out that his sister messaged his senior without his knowledge. Shiori has a hard time believing that Takuma would send such a message, so she goes to shower before sending him a picture. When she returns, Takuma has already apologized and explained that his sister sent the text. Since Takuma is usually too shy to ask for pictures, Shiori finds his explanation logical. Surprisingly, she asks if he's sure he doesn't want a picture of her. But Takuma freezes under the pressure when it comes to making a move. He tells his sister she needs to apologize. Yuteka listens to her sibling and sends multiple pictures of her to Shiori. Takuma worries about what his senior will think of him when he returns to work the next day. When he bumps into her on the street, he's surprised by how normal she seems. To avoid asking for individual photos, Shiori suggests they take a picture together. The manager sneaks up on them from behind some bushes and takes the opportunity to snap a photo of them together. But the story is not finished yet. Leave down a comment if you want a next part. Thanks for watching.